Hello, everybody yeah. out there in the YouTube world. Yeah, that's a little bright, isn't it, Lee? Yes, it is. Need to bring that down just a mm, hair. Yeah. We'll go up that's one. Right. Yeah, it's just yeah. sucks. Yeah, unfortunately, you're going to have to keep it where you get the stripes, but, you know, so everybody can see. Otherwise, it's going to glare so bad you can't even see the cups. Yeah, that is true. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we are going to mix up Pegasus Constellation. But let's go say hi to everybody on the YouTubes. We got Joe in there. We got Denise in the YouTubes. We got Debbie Bro. Hey, Debbie. That's a new name for me. Welcome. Glad you're here. Stacy Hardy's back in. Oh, she's already placed an order. Okay, but still, I the first time I heard her name. Okay. Stacy Hardy is in the house. <laughs> Wanda's in the house. And Mia, all the way from Denmark. And Linda Bain. She's from the UK. Welcome, Linda. Glad you're here. All right. Let's get back over to the Discord world. And we have Lee and Mia and Carrie and Tammy and me. Hey. Hi. And I did put the and I did put the link in YouTube at the at the very top. It's the first thing I did. And you know what? I was listening last night. Carrie and I were reviewing some stuff. And the Discord sounded incredible. On the YouTube live. So if yeah. you're out there on YouTube and you can hear Tammy, say hello, Tammy. Hey. No, I said say hello, Tammy. Oh, hello, Tammy. I'm just teasing you, Tammy. <laughs> anyway, hello. if you heard Tammy, um, then you can hear Discord. So let me know if you heard um, Tammy. Hey, Crafting with Shay in here. Hello, Shay. We got Alyssa Orr. That's a new name for me. Welcome, Alyssa. Oh, good. Okay. So Denise said she could hear her. That's good. So maybe we got the okay. Discord thing figured out. All right. So what we're going to do today is we are going to initially mix up the um, Pegasus. What's it called? Pegasus Constellation by Dakota Detweiler. And Carrie has picked out a plethora of goodness here for me to, to mix up into. And it's going to be mainly clear with all this starlight stuff mixed in white blue purple gold and i guess this aqua here whatever that color is and then yeah and then we got carolina blue we've got angel blue and then we've got krista gold and then we're going to have a mixture of blue blood sapphire ghost blue and what looks like white um glitter and that will be the mix-up. It's going to be mostly clear with streaks of these other colors going through it as though it were the Pegasus flying through the air. Let's see how well we can do that. <laughs> Sounds like a... We're going for the look of the Hanukkah ice. Uh, a couple of people got that pen uh, posted it. So it's going to... We're trying to go for that effect. So it looks more clear. So it looks like the colors are in the sky. Um, okay, 282. We got 282. Now we're going to go to 282 on this one. Hey, Shay. Uh, Wanda says, I'm only in YouTube, but might have to get involved with the Discord. And that's D I S C O R D, uh, Wanda, just so that you know. Not sure how to spell it. Uh, Come spell on it. in. The water is, is warm. Uh, Alyssa Orr said, I want to buy one of your pens so badly. Um, Tiffany's available. Debbie, okay, let me start my timer. Debbie Bro says, me too. Uh, let's see. Wanda said, blood isn't blue. <laughs> okay, Wanda. Uh, Stacy Hardy says, I already, I already want one, which is the... When you're mixing up, I'm assuming she says. Angie, Sparkle Addiction, hello and welcome in. No problem, Wanda. Anytime I can help. All, all they have to, all they have to do is say we're gonna, and you want one. You don't even know. You don't even know what it is. What the we're gonna is, and you're like, I want one. He, he got 
I just need to say, uh, Angie, if you could go watch the finger hole video because you ordered a pen blank, it's fake. And so I need to know what your finger hole measurement is. So in the video, it will guide you through. It's on the YouTube under our social things and just watch that. And then we can move forward with your pen because it's set design. So we just need your finger hole measurement. We need to know how big your fingers are. <laughs> Tammy ain't shy. Now, this one here, I mixed up this first batch here. I'm going to wait for that to get a little thicker. And I'm going to try that extra drills thing. Remember all these extra drills we got? I'm going to yep. try that again, see if I can't get them to suspend inside that thing there. Okay, now. Let's get the real show on the road here. Yeah. 275. I'm Close at 285. Whew, good thing I'm not an accountant. <laughs> Let's get back up to 285 here. How are you, Nia? I'm good. How about you? I'm all right. Perfect. Now we're going to mix this up nicely. And I'm two and a half minutes behind on my timer. I got two timers, but I haven't taken the other one out of the box yet. May have to. You are correct, Tammy. Okay, uh, let's sit this to the side here. Blue bloods means a, a couple of different things, man, but the, and that's one of them. Yeah. What was that? Blue bloods. Blue bloods. It's a color. What do you love? Blue bloods. It's a show. Oh, yeah, that is a good show. Canadian TV show. Blue Bloods. Hey, Shay. Welcome into Discord. Hello, Shay. Hello. How are you guys? Doing well. How are things on the road? Yeah, I am. I am. Okay, good. Yeah, it's really hot today. It was it was raining and sunny, but now the sun's out, so I'll take that. Heck yeah. What time it's you get 55, 55 degrees, Oklahoma City, clear blue skies, Shay. Ooh, okay. Not not too bad. Oh, you got it, man. That 70s nice. Low humidity. Oh. It is. March is blowing in. March is blowing out. That's what I said. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just the hired help. Now that you know how dumb me. that on-air talent is, don't you? Them news reporters and stuff, that's me. Just just give me the script and I perform. Orf, 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 orf. But I'm... <laughs> Says her. And hello, Marilyn. Welcome into Discord. Hello, Marilyn. And Angie, welcome into Discord. Hey, sorry, I got a little late to get in here. It's all right. 
Well, at least you can drive and listen. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm parked. I'm parked right now. I actually just took a nap. <laughs> Basking in the sunshine. Man, at least you can. When you have to go to the same open lot every day, you can't do that. You can already know. <laughs> Walmart will let you park overnight. Too funny. Too funny. So I have to just tell you what I'm seeing. I came back to my couch. I put all the shipping on my table in the middle of my living room because I have a small house. And the dog thinks she sits where I sit all the time. So I come back and she's 75 pounds. She's got her still wrapped up as small as possible so I don't move her. <laughs> so let me let me rephrase your terminology here, Angie. Your dog knows where it's gonna sit. And you just think you know where you want to sit. Dog's in charge. No, she's not. <laughs> Sounds like she is. Let me tell you, delusion is a wonderful state to be in. <laughs> There you go. See? Hello. So Shay Mia is sitting in Denmark right now. I know. I love Mia. Yeah. Okay. Love you too. Hi, Mia. I know. I think Colin is a guest on one of my lives. Nice. Oh, I love Mia. I love it. Mia, I thought about you the other day. I saw um, a t shirt, a new kids on the block t shirt, and I thought about you. 
Why did you get it for me? <laughs> <laughs> well, she was thinking about you. I was thinking about you. Yeah. Because I love them. They're so alive. I do. I, I just thought, you know, they're coming with a new album in, in May. So they know are in time. Mm -hmm. With big clubs, and I just had to have it. Oh, nice. I didn't know they had new albums. Yeah, they need money. No, they don't. <laughs> Just love it. We have it. That's um, right. Alyssa Orr, if you go to the top, he hasn't pinned it yet that I can see, but if you go to the very top of the chat, you'll see where I put in a link for Discord. That's where you can get into Discord. I'll pin it here in a second. Joe says she's here. Joe says she's here but needs to leave for a quick grocery one, but be back in a jiff. Walmart delivers. Instacart delivers. <laughs> always always wanted to visit Denmark, Australia, and Ireland, Wanda says. Nice. Well, I'm I love to. I love Terry though. I just realized she lived. Oh, she's in there talking to somebody, I'm sure. I hear her voice in the distance. That could be true. Uh -uh. As long as it got your address on it. You keep dreaming that. You keep dreaming that. Still can't get these buggers to float it. Oh, now it's getting thicker. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, that was a nice gold, wasn't it? Oh, look at this. That might be thick enough to suspend them now. All right, we might have success. For those of you that are coming in just a little bit after the start, that second one that Tim was just stirring on is one that he's putting the spare drills in to see if he can make a drill pen, a drill pen out of real drill resin. That is so cool, too, because I have a uh, tray made out of drills. It was fun to make. Yeah, I hope you can get it to go. Me too. To to Me too. <laughs> They always sink when it's not thick enough, and hopefully we're right at the point where we can have that uh, viscosity Thickness. not let them all sink to the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Shay, if you'll notice in screen here, we've actually expanded to another pot. So now it's got two pots. Two pots to piss in. Uh, speaking of different things, where did you? All right, there it is. Four hours from now, we can see what it is. So that's 15 minutes of resin time. That's good to know. Let's see. Let me go to 
let me go to the channel here or the, the stream so I can pin that Discord link. Hey, Shay. Just because I like to tell her her numbers. Hey, Shay. Yes, sir. Did you know you were at 6.98? What? You're at 6.98. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. I'm superstitious. Crafting with Shay, 6.98K. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm superstitious because the more I look at it, this is what I think. When I look at it, it doesn't move. So I don't look at it and I hope it moves. But this it is why I'm telling you. Them. You don't have to look at it. Wow. I don't have to look. I'll just ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Which means you could be very close to 6.99. you. Telling you, I'm not sure I can handle another Shea celebration. My goodness, <laughs> man, a lot that was that making me busy. Okay, let me let me swap. You kidding me? I'm still working. I'm still working on getting 175. I lost two somewhere. Oh yeah, they come and go. Oh yeah, they do. Oh yeah, they do. Yep. They always say. In fact, that book I, I recommended to you, Shay. They say, "Don't watch your numbers. I try not to. Just just let them go. One day they'll be somewhere. Yep. Yep." All right. Okay, done drilling. I think it's called the YouTube Formula by Daryl Eaves. All right, we're gonna make a pen now. This belongs to Miss Tala, who literally lives three quarters of a mile from us. <laughs> okay, so. So out there in the YouTube world, I I did pin the Discord link to the top. So if you want to join us in Discord, you just click on that link and it will take you through the process of either joining the Discord in your browser or being able to download the Discord app so you can have it on your desktop. And once you get into that, all of a sudden your world changes because there's lots of stuff out there in Discord. Alrighty, here we go. We're going to turn on the blower. Oh, I should, uh, I don't want to put my headphones on because that will uh, cut out this cord. So here we go. So in other words, you can't hear. Just so that anybody knows. I'm still alive. Hoping 
you know, beyond hope that the doctor calls soon for Lenore. Even though, even though Monday is a little early. <laughs> Hello, Sherry. Yeah, I try to keep her laughing whenever possible. I um I decided to move it to an earlier taping because of the fact that by the time I'm done with Tim's live and then you got Carrie's live or Kara's live and then you got Brandy and I end up having to leave early on Brandy's live so I said well you know I'm just going to start filming earlier Hello, Wonders Crafts. Hello, Melanie. Yep. Now, if you're getting an Echo Wonder, what you're going to want to do is turn down your YouTube. Yeah, he can't. Yeah, he can't hear now because he doesn't have his headset on. Yeah. Oh, I know. I just didn't know if you were. I didn't know if you were talking to him. I didn't know if you were talking to him, thinking he had his headset on. So I was just letting you know. I'm sorry. No, no, he does not. That's why I said I was just letting you know because I didn't know where you were in the shop or anything. So, ah, uh, yep, yeah, yep. Well, it's yeah, because I'm in StreamYard, so. They they just poured it. Yes, yes. They just put it in the pot. Nope. It was both. Yeah. 
You're breaking up. You're breaking up a little bit, Carrie. Oh, I don't know why I just, you know. So in, so in other words, you're going to give Berta and Denise, uh, you're going to enable them again so that they have to dig into their wallets. And <laughs> Yeah, don't mess with us. We're high tech. We have three settings. <laughs> Be careful. We'll use one of those settings on you. And a lighting advisor. That's right. <laughs> But wait, that's not all. Oh. 
UPS? No? <laughs> Yeah. Don't give them any ideas. <laughs> Don't tempt me. I'll buy it. Uh, let me get through the next 120 pens. And just as a couple of points real quick, Sherry, I don't know if I said hello to you when you when you said hello or not, but hello, welcome into YouTube. And Tim, originally Kerry came in to let you let us know that it, nobody could really be heard from Discord and YouTube. It sounded more like a, a, a faint whisper. You know what's weird is we watched the playback and they were crystal clear and loud. I don't know what the heck. Right. In other words, she's the boss sitting on the throne while all of us minions are working. <laughs> so I really, oh, look at I missed that right there. I got to get that turned down a little bit. Demand, you bet. Do you have any left, Carrie? Do you have any pens left? That's the question. Because the I would imagine we're we're nearing forty. We did made forty of them in total so far now, and I think we there's probably one or two left, or maybe none. I don't know. One left. So thirty nine Shea by the sea pens. The answer is yes. Very well. 
Some part for their printer. Hello, Mary in Lake Craft, and welcome back home from Virginia. Hello. about two or three weeks and she was fine with waiting for that and mm -hmm. I'll have a couple more blanks of that. So it's never a no. We always try. Not not that it's never a no, it's always a yes. How much money do you have? <laughs> I'm not cheap, but I am easy. <laughs> That's when you just play Berta. Well, I only got one. That's better for you. And there it is, the high contrast dragon. We really like the high contrast. Now, we used to do, like on the Spangler, we just did the mica powder in the yellow and the green. And when we shifted to this red, we added some white to each one to give it a higher contrast so you could really get that dragon to stand out. And it really comes out cool. Right. Well, really good. Yeah. I don't know. Did I get that wrong or something? No. Oh. Gotcha. So this is Stacy's pen. Stacy also purchased Groot. So Groot now has a home. This is Groot with it's a it's a bottle stopper and it's a piece of burl wood with the burl still on top. Okay. 
you're doing her stuff. Well, I'm doing this one here. What is this? Uh, oh, this is um, Majesty Magic. Yeah. Uh, who said they were echoing, Wanda? All right. All right. If you turn down your TV or your or your computer Discord. Round okay. pointy. And that's for Discord. Yeah, Uh oh. There's two of me. That's yeah. probably why. It was in the laundry room, and it's pretty close to where he is, so that's probably oh, why. And you probably hear the it coming out of the laptop. And as an update to the knife stuff, this was prototype number one. Not a bad shot, and it may actually be for a smaller knife, but it didn't fit the knife that I was making it for. And then we went to prototype number two. And the only thing I didn't really like about this was the holes for the belt loop were too far near the edge. So I moved them in, and we've now come up with number three. Right now, it's soaking wet leather as it's forming itself around the knife and drying. So it will now be uh, super tight. Leather does stretch and leather does shrink. So when you're fitting a knife to do a friction fit, you wet the leather, jam the knife in there, form the leather around the knife, and then let it dry. And it literally creates its own little safety grab. And these holes are moved in a little bit from where they were on the original one. So this will want, this is the one that will go into production. All the edges are burnished now looking pretty sharp we'll do a little more work on this and then oil it and it'll be out the door once i finish the pen so there's the update on the piece for this particular little drop point hunting knife that's what we worked on today plus i worked on i didn't work on it so much but i bought this uh, so one of the things that if i don't have the sewing machine that doc has my uh, leather guy, the saddle maker down there in Yukon. And um, so what I would use locally here is what's called a stitching post. And essentially what you do is you unscrew this and you open these jaws up and you clamp in here what you're stitching and then you cinch the up and that way it holds it in place while you're doing your really rugged white stitching by hand. This is a this is a stitching post that is over 100 years old. I just picked it up about a week ago from an antique guy out there in Piedmont, Oklahoma. So I'm going to start sanding on it a little bit to recondition the ends. Doc and I cut some leather that I'm going to wrap the end. That way, when you grip the leather, it doesn't mar it because the wood would actually mar uh, to an extent the leather. So I'll fix up this end, wrap the end in leather. And then I'll make an insert for my desk or my, my table over there where this thing will drop in and then make a wedge for it to hold it fast. Hey. So that is. Stacy really said. Cool. Oh, go ahead, Tim. I'm sorry. Nope. I just said that. Is so excited to get this thing on in my hands. Hey. Stacy said, I had to get Groot. That's what I used to call one of my dogs. He was a senior when I adopted him. I swear he would say Groot when he howled. <laughs> and then she, and then she said, and I love wine. So there you, know. you go. Alyssa says, Alyssa Orr says, this is so cool. What yeah. is so cool? I'm Everything? assuming because it came up about the time you we were talking about the leather and whatnot. So I'm assuming it was. Oh, that. yeah. Cool. And Marion said, I know where Piedmont, Oklahoma is. Absolutely, you do, Marion. It's just north of, oh, Yukon. Where Garth Brooks was, was grown up. They claim it's the home of Garth Brooks. I think he went, you know, grew up there as a teenager, went to high school, and then uh, left forever. 
but they claim he's the home of Garth Brooks. They got a Garth Brooks Boulevard and all that good stuff. But Yukon is a cute little town. I like it a lot. Okay. All the different things you learn from a pen turning. Yeah, crazy, ain't it? It's crazy. Okay, blow her on. Can't hear nothing. I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, now I got to get him to lower his camera next time he turns the blower off. I mean, it's, still, it's not a bad view, but, you know. Hey, just a little... A little more detail when it's closer. Oh, man. Yeah, already it's starting. It's going to be a long day. Yeah, it's only four. It's only four forty at night. Four forty in the afternoon. All right, this is going to be Majesty Magic. It's going to be vases, point four seven, and rounded pointy ends. And he still can't hear us because he's still got the blower on. <coughs> he's just letting us know what he's doing. And I don't think and Carrie's not here, so it's not that important. Like I said, it's you know, it can wait because it's not like it's a bad view. I have no idea. The machine itself isn't that loud. It's the it's the turning that's creating most of the noise. The actual knife contact to the blank. Yeah, there's an app for everything anymore. Yeah. I just want time, day, and date on my watch. What's up, young lady? It's in. It's in, baby. And I did not. But you better take a picture of the formula. So we don't forget. What's that? Because I spilled them. Yep, all those and those colors there. You got it. You got it. And I only did one, so we'll see how that comes out. And then uh, make more. What's up, babe? <laughs> oh, I look like a bit all up 
Oh, you didn't say I had that one. Oh, well, we could tweak it next time. I think it's going to look pretty cool. Especially since it's 70% clear with the glitter. Looking like the stars in the skies. Uh, and hello, Joe. Welcome back. I'm sorry I missed you returning, even though it's right there in front of me. All right, let's see where we're getting to here, measurement wise. Do you Still have. Can you hear me? Nope. I was hoping when the machine turned off, you'd be able to hear. Hey, I'll try anything once. No, it doesn't always work. Once in a while it does, but, you know, I'm just impatient. That's why I never made a good doctor, because I don't have any patience. A lot like a lot like somebody else I know, Tammy. I'm in the HR puff and stuff plan. Okay. Isn't that the clan I'm in, babe? The house? HR puff and stuff? Oh. He must be talking. He must be talking. Yeah, he's he's, no, he's, ta he's talking to Carrie. Probably something about um. Yeah, what's the name? The the houses of Gryffindor and whatnot. Can't think of the name of it for the life of me now. Harry Potter. That's it. Thank you very much. Yeah, Harry Potter was. I mean, I'm not one of the one of the mega fans. Like you know, gee, I I belong in this house and I this and I that and yeah, I just like the movie. But I like the movies. I just like the movies. All right, let's do some vases here. I haven't tried audio books yet. I just don't have the attention span. I mean, I, I'm able to read. I'm capable of reading. I just, I don't have the, uh, the way, of course, the way Tammy said it, she wanted to throw me under the bus and make it sound like I didn't know how to read. But that's okay. But that's okay. Um, but uh, I just don't have the attention span for it. I'll sit there and read the same page five times and not even realize it until one day, I'm at one point I go, oh, wait, yeah. I knew that sounded familiar, you know. Mm hmm. Yeah. Now I sat there. I sat there one day and tried to read a book, and I'm sitting there going, "Wait a minute, that sounds familiar. Wasn't that back here?" And I'm skimming back through the pages, and I'm going, "Well, maybe I'm, maybe I'm a lot further on than I thought I was, and this is just something else." And it looked all over the place, and I'm like, "It dawned on me. Oh no, I haven't read any of this. This is the same page I was reading 20 minutes ago." <laughs> Mm 
Nope, I don't. Uh huh. Yeah, Lee. Lee doesn't read. Mm -hmm. Yep. Trying to throw me under the bus. I see how it is. Gee, I think I'll tell everybody. I'll, I think I'll make everybody think he doesn't know how to read just because of the fact that he keeps me guessing on my, on on stories. I. That's why I have. That's that's why. Yeah, my wife does. Lenore reads all, all over the place. In case you haven't, in case you haven't figured it out, Wanda, sometimes you have to really break yourself in there to get a word in it twice. <laughs> And for those of you in Discord, I mean in YouTube that cannot hear, what they're doing is they're talking about different books and how they love to read and how they enjoy reading and how they used to read, but now they listen to audiobooks and all of that. So that's basically all you're missing. So it's, you're not really missing much. Boom, there it is. Hey. Hey, Tim. Hey. Hey. Diaper coming out. Hey, Tim. Yo. You might want to lower the camera again. Lower the camera. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you put it up to show us all the leather work, and it never got replaced. There you go. How's that? That's better. He's mucho closer. Yeah. Now now the pen's probably going to spit at the lens all, the, all over the place. <laughs> That's okay. I got paper towels. Uh-huh. That's not a and just for those of you that 
just for those of you that don't know, when Tim sands like he's about to, um, he uses water to ke help keep the the resin co a little bit cooler so it doesn't burn through. And when he does that, of course, the water kind of spits around from the turn. So that's why we call him. That's that's why I'm always saying it's gonna probably gonna spit at the camera. Yeah, that's what I said. It's spitting at the camera. I'm not sure, Tim. What's that? How hot does that usually get when you're when you're sanding? Um, it doesn't get very hot at all because I keep adding water. So maybe it gets to 100 degrees. When I start feeling the heat, I add more water. I mean, it would get so hot it would burn paper if I let it, but I don't, that hurts my fingers. Yeah, just slightly. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> it only takes a drop or two. It doesn't take much water at all. Nope. And also, if you're new here, number one, please hit the like button and then hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're aware of every time Tim posts. And uh, join the Facebook group and get notifications there, too. Yeah, I was going to get to that part afterwards, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. cool. as, soon as, I, as soon as I go into my spiel, everybody's like, um... Yeah, I knew I forgot to do that, and so I get kind of sidetracked. As far as the Facebook group that Tim had mentioned, uh, where is it? I know I have it here somewhere. Ah, there it is. There it is. Um, I'm about to post the Leopard Leatherworks Facebook group. For you to join and uh, be notified of any of the blank drops and different events that might be going on and so forth. Just grab that link, go over there, join that. Uh, with some... Please answer the questions. The only reason the questions are there are to keep rid of the scammers because their bots never answer the questions. <coughs> <coughs> And as another one, here is the uh, link for the Leopard Leatherworks shop in case you want to see some of the things that they have that are already, that are still up there or already up there or will be soon up there when, he, when she gets everything. And it's actually pretty skinny right now because we're slowing down so people don't buy so much so that I don't have too much to do. <laughs> Isn't that weird? We're selling pens, but we don't have any to offer you right now. So it is a little slim pickings right now till Carrie starts doing her drops and posting stuff up again. Yeah, well, you know, you're the only man running for crying out loud. You gotta you gotta yeah. take some kind of a time off from selling. Well, there's no time off. Up. I just don't want to get too buried. No, no, but that's what I that's what I'm getting at. You have to take some time off from selling so you can get caught up. Yep. Is what I was saying. Because right now we're about, oh, 120 pens deep. Yep. And then and every, once she starts And every doing time I make a bunch, drops, they sell a bunch. Yep. Once she starts doing her Wednesday drops, you're going to get that much more. I know. Or whenever you do a event, whenever you host an event. Oh, yeah. Sounds so easy, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll, I'll cut, cut my me. fingers off out there. I said, no, you won't. I haven't cut my fingers off. Everybody comes up with the same advice. Yeah. I, I told him one day he should have Kevin, his son, turn around to the buffing. So all he has to do is turn the pen, hand it to Kevin, let him do the buffing, and then he can put the next pen on and start it. Have a, have a regular 
And then when he's done with the buffing, he can turn around and give it to Carrie so Carrie can do all the shipping information. <laughs> a rather, a regular because we're all standing line. in a line all the time. That's why it works. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Leanne Palumbo. How are you? I do turn some pens offline because people don't really care to watch them turn. They just want them turned. So that helps me get ahead a little bit. Yep. Howdy. Hello, Leanne. And there's Marion talking to her hubby. Marion, tell Carl to behave now. I think it's Christy Bigelow has Charles, right? Is that how that works? I think so, yeah. And then uh, Marion's got Carl. And then. That's okay. We realized it. Yep, we know it. <laughs> but that's okay. We have fun with it. Yeah, you know, big deal. We like Carl. He's part of the gang. Hello, half the, he, he, hello, half the time I'm ending up talking to Lenore going, and then going, oh, shoot, I left the mic on. Yeah. Well, what do you, what do you, what are you watching on? You said your tablet? Yeah, all my tablet. If you look where all of our names are, can you see that? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. At the very bottom, you'll see a microphone and a headset. Uh -oh. No, you're still in Discord. Oh, yeah. Yep. You just gotta open it. You just gotta open it back up again. Just click it, and it'll open right back up. Okay. All right. So at the bottom, at the bottom of the page, at the bottom of the page list, when you reopen Discord itself, mm -hmm. uh, you'll see a microphone and a headset. All the way, all the way at the bottom where your name is, where your username is. That's the other, yeah, that's the other, that's the other way. If you tap your screen, because I'm assuming tablet, you have a touch screen. If you hit, if you tap the screen, you should get a pop-up of sorts that shows the microphone and, and what. It, and if you, and if you hit the microphone, if you tap the microphone, that'll mute your phone. That'll mute your microphone. There you go. That's now you're muted. And if you hit it again, you'll unmute it. Yep. Hello, Marilyn. Could have been, could have been Maine too. Maine has a lot of covered bridges. Uh huh. I'm originally from, I'm originally from New England, so. Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, you know. There it is, Majesty Magic. Isn't that gorgeous? 
at one point. Um, that is so pretty. Yeah, there's a lot of cool curves in this sucker. But I see a scratch right underneath that lip. I like that and that's got to be fixed. Yep. Marilyn says stunning, and Stacy says looks great as always. <laughs> Thank you. Did we see what? We, we don't see what he sees because of the fact that he looks at it so close. You'd think he had magnifiers for glass for for eyes. He's just got my eyes. Yep, exactly. And he got good glasses. He has good glasses. And and for those of you that are that are also new, one of the other things I I personally like to point out is because is when he puts the blank on. Pay attention to the blank colors because they're not going to look the same when he's done cutting the, turning the pen. Right. Yeah. Hey, just like um, Forrest Gump said, "Life is like a box of chocolate. You don't know what you're going to get." So. You got a mic? No, she doesn't. You got a mic? Of what? You got a mic? No. Nobody can hear you. Oh, I'm talking in here. That's there's no mic over there. <laughs> okay, here I am again. Well, like Forrest Gump says, life is like a box of chocolates. You don't know what you're going to get. And that's how it is with this, these blanks. You can pick a blank, but every blank, I like this blank, but it might turn out different and you might like another blank better. Oh, I wish I chose that one. And so you just don't know. So that's why you don't put, like, pick, pick your color one. wave and be impressed. Yep. Because it'll come out great. It's just not going to be what you thought it was. Exactly. Hello, Caroline. Hi. Bye. No, hi. That was Caroline Cut. She just came. Uh, hey, Caroline. Hey. You're there good. You go. We're glad you're here. No, you should you should be able to run both. But where you're in Discord, you won't really need YouTube sound because Tim is in Discord. That's right. Uh-huh. Usually you get a <laughs> oh, switch me over to the buffer, would you, babe? Uh, Joe. And all this time, you still have a hard time remembering how to turn off YouTube volume? The mic does work, Carrie. But you got to turn it on. Then it will work. There it is. And now that little scratch is gone. Hang on, babes. I'll be right there with you. I'm showing you the blank. This is the regular blank and how different it looks. Oh, I see. See, there you go. Oh, those look identical. No, I'm just kidding. You think not. Here. Oh, now now this dang thing comes on. Okay. I. So what I was trying to say, well, maybe I said it before. Never mind. You said it. I did. Oh, never mind. They got yeah, it. And don't make fun of my age. Can't That's remember. the fun part of blank shopping is you sort of go for a color wave, but when you know it's going to be awesome, you just whatever you're don't know doing. What it's look like whatever you're doing, Tim. You're on the buffer. He's on the drill press. You can't ah, see. Ah, that's why. Okay. Because I'm standing here monitoring. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my computer. She's checking me out. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. 
checking them out. Make sure you're doing it right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you thought she was checking my butt out. That wasn't it. She's trying to make sure I'm doing it right. Yeah, exactly. I was going there either. But hey, he said it, not me. I'm staying out of this one. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. That's the part. It's part Flip of being me back here. over to the uh, length, would you, babe? Yes, sir. Gosh. I'm going to clear the gullet I'm, here. I'm the and deer so helper, as Dix, Ditsy says. I'm the and deer helper. Yeah. She helps me with the deer. There you go. You that is Everest. That is Everest on the lake. Since Stacy ordered this, um, I believe yesterday or the day before, since we have other items for her, we're just going to do this one now. That way she can save on, and we can just give her one big package. Surprise, surprise. That's kind of fun. We try and do that if we can. I can't hear that. It's too loud in here. Maybe Lee, not you can to, answer. Not to worry about it, Caroline. It shouldn't. It shouldn't bother Discord itself. It just depends on what kind of a signal you get going through the rain. Yeah, you can listen to Discord and just have the YouTube playing with no volume on YouTube. I don't know how you do that on your phone. I don't know how you do that on your phone, so I'm not sure. You can't do both because it's on one device. That was kind of confusing. I'm not and sure. I never did that. I just Stacey, always watched on YouTube. And Stacy says, okay, thanks, Carrie. I ordered the Everest stuff yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we still have to make the tray yet, but we do have a crab for you. I'm waiting for my smaller magnets. They'll be here tomorrow. So I'll be making all the crabs tomorrow. All right, what are we doing here? We are doing Everest. Everest. Handlebar. Handlebar, still point four seven. Yep. Handlebar baseball bat. The signature end. Yeah, excuse me. Are the trays all done for Everest? I know he put a couple in yesterday. I don't know. I don't know if they're all done, but I know he's they're trying to keep up with them. Have to wait until he shuts the blower off to confirm or deny. Not yet, that I know of, anyway. Uh oh. Not to what? Yeah. <laughs> Uh 
I don't know. It's sunny and 80 right now. Yep. Well, then again, I'm in Florida, so I mean, you know. Sixty-eight and what, Tammy? I don't know. All I know is my air conditioner is on and cooling me right off. If you lived in Florida, you would. Well, I send it to Tammy. She loves it. <laughs> I say, I say, I have a friend of mine up in New Hampshire, uh, up in New Hampshire and Maine, send you one of the nor'easters from that area. <laughs> I can be mean and sadistic. That's right. <laughs> can you tell we love each? Can Can you tell we just love each other? <laughs> We pick on Berta and her one pen and her one painting, and we pick on Denise for trying to trying to mimic Berta. And <laughs> we pick on Tammy. We pick on Tammy just because, you know. And they and they all throw me under the bus. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's just because of the fact that she sent you to sleep, so. <coughs> and Wanda's going, where the hell is that coming from? <laughs> huh? What do you want? It's it's on it's on Discord where you see where you turn on your camera and and whatnot. It's on the bottom. It looks like a little little horn.
you click the little horn that had not the speaker but the horn that's that has the sound coming out of it and that's where the, that's where you find the uh menu for the sound effects hey hey tim you joe you. joe wants to know are all the trays done for everest they're not done there's two in the pot right now as soon as they come out i'll be making two more as soon as those come out i'll be making two more Sadly, I only have two um, molds, so I'm going to make so two far. at a time. And Luna, welcome to Discord. Thank you again for being here and showing up with the live. Um, for those of you that are here that are fairly new, uh, whenever Luna, CM Luna comes in, she always broadcasts the live stream on YouTube into Discord, so you can always watch it from Discord itself. And it's the same as watching it on YouTube. No well, you're not, Sorry, you're not required to be here, but we appreciate you being here. And that's okay, Joe. That's the whole point of... of being here like this so you can be curious and somebody at least can answer your questions yeah or direct the or direct you to someone who can you know in this case i had to direct it to tim because i had no idea i knew he made two but i didn't know if there was any more to be made or what the case was <laughs> this ugly pen is stacy's it's, it, <laughs> uh, too uh, yes, according to Berta, according to Berta logic, any pen that does not belong to her is ugly. Any painting that does not belong to her is ugly. The only problem is then she will turn around and order the pen that she says is ugly so she can have one for herself. Yeah, and then it's not ugly anymore. That's right. <laughs> Automatic. But it's, but it's only one pen. That's right. One pen to bind them all. Yep. She had... She had five one pens yesterday. That's right. <laughs> five singles equals two runs, right, Berta? <laughs> one period. I don't like your counting. It's it's Berta math. I'm telling you, it's Berta math. You would. It makes no sense. So it's Berta math. That's right. <laughs> but the problem is your bank account argues with you about that. It's identifying as a chameleon. I like that one. <laughs> Is that the bank account that has the traits of the chameleon? <laughs> or is it the pen? The pen. Ah. Uh. Right. <sighs> Let's see how we're looking here. Uh. Oh, look at that. That came out nice. That came out really nice. That's too cool. Give me a second. 
Yes, ma'am, we do. Almost said, hey, Carrie, switch me to the buffer, but she's not here. I got used to that too quickly. Uh-huh. He's almost he's only buffing so you can always go you can always go take care of whatever mom wants. Uh I'll leave that one alone. I'll leave that one alone. <laughs> well, then go. Oh, mom. Oh, mom. <laughs> there we go. All polished, buffed up. Nice. When you're looking like this, there's the sky, the uh, lighthouse, lighthouse, and the sand, and or the beach, and the sea, or the rocks and stuff below the lighthouse. Yep. That is fun. Oh, mom. So the, this is the Stacy collection for today. She got the Groot, Majesty's Magic, and Everest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roll. Well, what time are we getting to be, Lee? If we are getting to be 427 your time. Okay, we got a while yet because um, Kara goes live in about an hour and a half. Good. Okay, six inches. Yeah, I gotta make sure I get Kara's on it. I'm there you go. All right, this one is where's my here it is. Yeah, ninety two minutes is when she's gonna be on. Yeah. So this is fire and ice, and they want it to be six inches long, so I need to trim off a little bit and because this end is curved off here i'm going to trim off that end there that'll be perfect joe yeah. says can't wait to see mine in person which one's that i'm not sure probably everest i imagine i would imagine yeah would you screw up Ow. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, it was Everest. Yep, Everest. Oh, that hurt. What hurt? Yeah, was that loud? Yeah, it was. Oh, I thought I, I had have, my noise reduction on. I had my headset on, and it's like. Oh, 
Remember you're on remember you're on the buffer. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, she did say it. She did mean Everest. Yeah. So. You're finished in this town, Tammy. You're finished. <laughs> Rounded end, 0.55 on the fire and ice. This is a gorgeous point. Yeah, excuse me. You're excused. Yeah, Tammy, this is yours. It's got your <laughs> name all over it. Stacy says... Stacy says, I need to have the remotes to switch the camera view. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. I think uh, you're right, Tammy. This has your name all over it. Yep, right there. C-O-N-N-I-E. Tammy. <laughs> Maybe I don't know how to spell. <laughs> 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 she catches on quick. You can't get past Tammy. Uh huh. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Uh. Unmerciful. Uh, Ooh, that's smooth. Turning a square thing round. All right, six inches. And what are we doing? We are doing fire and ice blank. All we have is rounded. Need to know what to do. I thought it was rounded pointy. You go ask Carrie what I'm supposed to do here. I thought you said it was rounded pointy. Yeah, I got the rounded thing, but I don't know what the design is. Oh, what the what the center design is. Design yeah. for fire and ice. Who is that? Tommy. Uh, I know she likes Morse code. Oh, Morse code? Uh, okay, that's cool. Okay, Morse code, rounded ends. I think we can do that just fine. Blower's on, he can't hear. Thank you. 
Yeah, let's see how close we're getting here. I already, I got it. We got it, baby. Got it. All right, that might be right where we need to be. Not a little fat yet. Point five eight, very close, should be down to point five five. On the money right there. Need to blow out my tracks of my micrometer here. Be a little smoother to go back and forth. There we go. Oh, that's nice and smooth. Yeah. All right, looking pretty good on this end. Let's go to the fire. By the way, this is a blank made by Dank Blanks. Dank Blanks, you can find them on uh, Facebook. The fellow that I always deal with from Dank Blanks is Jordan Redman. He's got a really good technique. His stuff sells within minutes when he makes blanks. He puts them up, they're gone within minutes. And they will ship directly well, to Tim. I know from him that he will remake stuff for us that he's made. And as I was saying, they will ship directly to Tim if you buy a blank from them. Just uh, just same as Cocoon. Save you on a little bit of postage. And time. Yeah, tell me. Let's see how we're doing for a measurement here. 0.58, nearly there. Yeah, we just like to have fun sometimes when when there's nothing much going on. Tim can't hear. He doesn't have his headset on, and Carrie's not in... Uh, Discord right now, so. Just make sure he doesn't steal it from you. Let's 
see. I know I moved my tape measure somewhere. <laughs> there it is. Okay, there's a six inch blank. So on the money, three is going to be in the middle here. All right, and we're going to do Morse code, which is essentially, you know, we could probably do three big bumps since this three quarters of an inch longer than a normal blank. So let's see what we can do. If we need three bumps, that means we need four digs. See how that fits in there. There's one dig, two dig, three dig, four dig. I don't know. I think we're only going to get three in there. Spread them out just a hair. So this will be a hump and this will be a hump. I think that's about right. When you come out of here and you dig through some of this, that'll be near the fingertip. So we'll lock that in. And give us some guidelines here. Here we go. One, two, and three. Yeah, I forgot that when you put these rounded ones on here, it really pushes the finger grip. How far does that push it in? Let's see. You lose real we estate. We get a finger grip right here at a quarter inch. We've got this finger grip settling in around nearly seven eighths of an inch. So it's a huge move from there to there. So you trade off the real estate in the middle of the pen to put this nice big belly ball end on here, this brown thing. So it's all about trading real estate. The real estate of the pen. I think this blank would look way cool with uh, skew lines as well because it's a very opaque blank. No worries. <clears throat> All right, there's our dot, dot, dot. Now we got to get our dits in here. time I hear that noise, I think of Jim Carrey in Dumb and Dumber, and he says, you want to hear the most annoying noise in the whole world? And he begins to screech. 
a nasal screech. All right, there it is. Morse code on fire and ice with 0.55 inch finger holds and a rounded end. Let me turn off the big blower here. All right. Now I can hear you all. Well, that's okay. Because if you were, I could hear you. Oh, did you get your pen today? What'd you get today? Ah, that is a cool pen. Is that wild? Yes. Yeah. That's that was a that was a cool, cool blank. Did you throw a picture into Discord there? Oh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it. I'm telling you, that that whole color scheme and the way that flowed through that blank, that's the one we made that was big in that two and a half by two and a half by six and a half inch blank mold. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's so different. I wonder if I could do that again. I don't remember even how I did it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, that one was a very cool blank. Thank you for your kind word. But yeah, that was uh, that that came out that, that blew me away. When I opened that up and started cutting it up, I was like, "Wow, how the heck did I do that?" I wonder if we did that one on a live. I can't remember. I have to go back and look. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Lee and I sit here and do that. We've been doing that for how many months now, Lee? Oh, yeah, just a few. When did we start this co-host thing and Discord? And that was probably what, back in November or December? I can't remember. Somewhere around there. I'll have yeah. to. I'll have to look it up. That's awesome. Yeah, neither could I. See. See, I couldn't choose my favorite pen, so Caroline chose it for me. That's it. <laughs> and I and, and I think that she remembered what I had made a comment about one day when I was telling Tim what I'd like what I'd like in a pen when we were just talking in general about what kind of pen because I was talking about hybrids because mine mine is uh, a hybrid with yellow, black, and then of course the brown from the wood. Yeah. And it reminds me of an eagle, you know, a bald eagle. You know? And I love bald eagles, so. There you go. You have an hour and ten minutes just to let you know. 
Yes, sir. Just to keep you informed. I think what we're going to do next is we're going to cut open the dank blank that we had remade. Oh, I don't know what Carrie calls it, but I call it strawberry lemonade. And if you can imagine that, that's what it looks like to me. Not, not this one here, Tammy, the, the one we're going to cut open. I'll show it to you in a second. This one is fire and ice. And in that he chose all these oranges and yellows to represent the fire part. Made total sense because fire is not red. Fire nope. is orange and yellow and blue and stuff like that. It's rarely red that I've ever noticed. No, the only thing red in a fire is the embers that are that that are burning from yeah. the wood and whatnot. Yeah. Look at her. She's looking at her pen. I'm telling you, when I was wiggling that around on the screen, I thought, man, alive. This, this that blank is just incredible. She's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna end up sleeping with that pen. I'm telling you. Or her husband's gonna steal it. So the answer is yes, occasionally. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you try to steal them all. That's right. <laughs> nope. Okay, here we go. You can't steal them either, Mia. Oh, my goodness. Jeez. Wow. Look at this. There's some kind of green in there that I never saw anywhere. It's right here, and then it's right in here. Or maybe that's yellow right there. I'm not sure. Nah, well, it could be the yellow sneaking up in between that blue, giving it a green hue. Man, this thing is just, wow. Woo, that is too cool. Good job, Mr. Dank Blank. By the way, I think dank has something to do with pot smoking. Because I went by one of those dispensaries here and it said dank, dank shorts or something like that. And I'm like, oh, I never even noticed that sign. Dank shorts. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't know. Leanne says it's beyond gorgeous. Oh, he's buffing. He can't hear me. Huh? No, I would assume so. I think she is.
All right, like glass, this thing. My, there's even a little bit of clarity on the end here. Some nice. clear spots. Leanne says it's beyond gorgeous. Oh, Leanne, you're 100 percent right. It is. It almost. Oh, you can see right through. There's a spot right there. You can literally see right through the pen. I can see light coming from the other side. Whew, that's so cool. My goodness. And there it is, fire and ice, Morse code, rounded ends with 0.55 inch finger grips. Good job, Connie. Nice choice. Okay, now let me show you what I call strawberry or pink lemonade. And I'm going to cut this up. Let's see, where am I at? I'm over here. I don't know. They look pretty good, uh, Carrie. Or, yeah, Kerry, I'm right. They look pretty good. <laughs> it's beautiful. I can't wait. So the cool thing is, when I cut this up, I'll show you what I do. I, uh, I'll i make one cut. See, here's my magic marker. I'll make one cut. See, here's the bottom. You can tell because all this stuff settles in there. And I'll make one half-inch cut across the bottom like that. So I'll slice this off the bottom, and then I will do a one-inch cut here with this side, whatever's left, and then a one-inch cut here. So this gives me a knife blank here, a knife blank here, and then I'll do th that way, and I'll get four one-inch blanks to turn into pens. So two knife blanks and four pen blanks out of this one block. Yeah, Cassie put in uh, pictures of her pen. In ah, there you go. Yeah. Lee says that all the time. You can take a picture if you like, but when you get, were you sitting down, Cassie, when you got it? That is Lee's recommendation. <laughs> yeah, sitting down when you opened it. Yeah, sitting down when you opened it. Good thing, huh? <laughs> yeah, Carrie and her Werther's caramels. She loves those things. I, I love them too. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Yeah, it's. It may be a steampunk cat daddy pen, but it still, it still looks like a Nutella pen. <laughs> Actually, Carrie said we're going to make a Nutella pen. Yeah, I remember her saying. <laughs> that's that's a matter of opinion. Yeah, it's an acquired taste. I'm not a monstrous fan, but every once in a while I'll like it. But I I don't crave it like Carrie does. Is it? I don't really know what it is. It's hazelnut. Hazelnut with cocoa. It's like a like a really loose peanut butter. Yeah, it is sugary. It is sugary. Well, we know this. I'm personally just a straight up peanut butter fan. Yep, me too. I'm a straight up hardcore peanut butter fan. Okay. I'm going to turn my mic off while I slice this because it's so loud over here when I do this thing. Here we go. You guys keep yourselves company.
Hello, Sarah Ann. We don't see you much anymore in Discord. Yeah, I'm not either, Sarah Ann. Ah, okay. Well, hey, you know, I just want to let you know you missed in Discord. Okay, that's the first slice. I'll give you a flavor of what that one looks like. And I can resaw this again in half. So even though it's half inch thick, I can cut it again in half and get what's inside this blank. Let me show you what's inside here. There you go. You're welcome. That's going to be a knife handle, yes. Just gorgeous colors. I mean, just gorgeous. Okay, there's that one. Now I got to readjust the bandsaw to a one inch cut. That'll take me a few seconds here. Okay, that's not quite seven there. <laughs> All right, should be there. We go. That's pretty good right there. Here we go. One inch slices. I'm going to turn my mic off again. Hey. Oh. That could be dangerous. Yeah. Never had one. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Never had one. Thank you. 
All right, back on the mic. So that gives us our our one inches. And then this one here, this is our other knife blank. Nice. And what I'll do, because this is somewhat clear, is I'll cut this in half again, and then I'll use what's called G10, which is this colored plastic stuff that you line the side of the blade with, and then that way you can't see through this to the blade. You'd see through this to the colored it's not plastic, but it's called G10 or micarta or something like that. And it'll look really cool. Yeah, some kind of, I'm not sure exactly what it is, Lee, but it is something like that. So now I'll take these guys, bring them together, and I will again cut. Cut some one inches off of this. So here I go dark again. And oh, Marion. Hello, Cindy. I was. Oh, go right ahead. Take your time. You sent the sleet down her way. I see Tim shoes. There we go. Now we're back on. Had to turn my mic on. So then we end up with four blanks. Let me squirt them down a little bit of water so you can see how gorgeous they are on the inside. There you go. So it essentially gives me four pen blanks and then, of course, two knife scales. And this would this look killer on a kitchen knife or what? Nice big chef knife. That would just be gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Anyway, that's what I call strawberry lemonade. Okay, now let's put these over here. Two of those belong to my sister. She's a diamond painter and she is going to Hawaii with a friend and she wants two very tropical looking pens. So those sort of fit the bill let's see it is 508 got tons of time left okay so let me show you i think i have a catalog over here of knives They should put uh, indexes on here. Here's what I want to do when we get some time. Rings. Would that be cool seeing some of this stuff that we're doing inlaid into these rings? So this might not be the catalog that has the knives, but. Uh, oh, here we go. So we got meat shredder claws that you could you know put one of these on salt and pepper mill measuring cups scoops 
outdoor utensils for doing on the barbecue. Seam rippers. We're going to do some of these for Caroline here. She's setting some up. Got to go through those. There's some bottle stoppers, some coffee grinders, letter openers, hammers. One of these guys, a pizza dealio. Somebody had one of these. Uh, maybe it wasn't this catalog, but somebody had knives, like kitchen knives and butcher knives and and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, this wasn't the one. But anyway, a lot of fun stuff out there that you could put these things into. Okay, let's get back to some pen making here. Okay. This is going to be for Darlene. Don't forget to switch. Yep. Got to drill a couple of holes in the end first. Oh, okay. And then I'll be right over there to switch the camera. And then I'll be at the lake. All right. This is a gorgeous cocoon blank. Let me pound some bushings into it. Uh, yeah. Police, let us in. Police, let us in. That's right. That's it. Open it up. So this is a, I don't know what's inside this, but this is going to be cool because it looks like mostly white, but it's got this black and this blue swirling around it. That's going to be an interesting. I mean, look turn. at this little Scooby-Doo on the end here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay. This is going to be for Mrs. Darlene. And this is going to be, this is called the blue, white, black bank vases. She wants on 0.57. And a baseball bat. We happen to know how to do all of those. I okay, let's make so. Yeah, let's make the square thing round. Blowers on. Can't hear anybody now. It's almost like sticking your fingers in your ear and going la 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 la. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. That's okay. That just means we can talk about him. Man, I don't know who sharpens my knives, but this guy does a great job now. Oh, here we go. Okay, 0.57 baseball bat. Here we go. I don't have to do that, Timmy, because all I hear when you speak is... Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Ooh, I need to talk to Jenny. Point five oh seven on the money. How's I need that? to get. Ooh. I need to get a. I need to get a file from Jenny. Yep. A sound wave. Do I have what? No, I do not yet. No, we're gonna make we're gonna make one um, with Lenore singing. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm sure we'll have, we're not going to use that much of it that I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Um, 
we don't know yet. We have to discuss. Her and I have to talk about that and find out when when the best convenient time for the live is. No, probably not. Well, the problem is, is there's always so much of a hard, there's always so much of a hard time trying to get Discord to play in YouTube, and you know. What? Yeah, sure. <laughs> The hell are you talking about? Eh, on the money. No, shortly, shortly after, um, shortly after we get done filming, it was about time to come into this live. So we haven't had a chance to discuss what we're going to do about the live yet. Yeah. Yeah, Joe, it is going to be a pretty one. Uh oh. <laughs> he hit the camera. <laughs> uh, shoot, 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 shoot. I shall be right back. I have to step away a moment. Mother Nature is a harsh Mother Nature is a harsh taskmaster. Or task mistress, I should say.
How do you like that? So am I. Well, actually, Joe, you can fire catfish. That's why they call it blackened. It burned to a crisp. The only fish, the only fish I'll eat is haddock. No, I don't eat flounder either. The only other fish I I ate other than haddock was when I was out in the middle of the Indian, Indian Ocean and I was and I was catching um, red snapper. You, you, you couldn't get any fresher uh, snapper than what we had because we catch it, put it, they, they set up a, a table so that you could catch it. Yep. And fillet it, fillet it and got it, eat it, and then send it down to the cook, eat it and, or cook it up and then eat it. From I like catch, Mrs. Paul's fish sticks. Yeah, from catching to eating took as long as it took the to scale it and cook it was as was as fresh as it was. It was pretty sea to table. Yeah. Is that what Mrs. Paul's fish sticks are, bluegill? The kids used to catch those in the ponds and stuff back in West Virginia, too. I remember that name a lot, bluegill. Don't know that I ever actually ate one, but they caught them a lot. Oh, must be soft boned. Generally, if I'm eating fish, it's a swordfish steak, a halibut steak, a tuna steak, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I like the big steaks. Not a small fish eater guy. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because you put so much butter on it. Hmm? <laughs> Would I'll you like it. a little lobster with your butter? Yeah, why not? They grow it down there in Louisiana. They grow that seasoning everywhere. You know, Carrie loves lobster. When we first got married, 
My submarine just finished its last patrol before the shipyard and was in Groton, Connecticut. And we were getting ready to go to the shipyard up in Kittery, Maine. And uh, we got up to the shipyard in Kittery, Maine, probably moved in there probably about February of 85, no, 84. And um, I was coming off the shipyard one day in the spring. It must have been about March or April because I had noticed all the lobster guys putting their traps out in the water because you could see all their multicolored buoys marking their traps and stuff like that. So the springtime was upon us and they were out there doing their lobstering. And I was coming off the shipyard one day, must have been about 4.30 in the afternoon, and these guys were all bringing in their catch of the day, sorting them out, getting ready to sell them into the market and all that kind of stuff. And I walked by, as curious as I could be, asking what they were doing and how they did it and all that kind of stuff, because I didn't know anything about lobster other than what it was. And he says, would you like one? And I said, geez, I don't know if I can afford it. I'm a sailor, you know. Little OE5 here just got married. I don't have any money. He says, we'll sell you a hen, a three-quarter pound hen. It was too small for the market. And they just wanted to get rid of them without throwing them back, make a little cash, right, for a dollar. So I, And this was like a really giant crawfish, right? It was that kind of lobster. Probably the lobster head to tail, nine inches. So it probably had a three and a half inch tail on it that you could probably eat something out of. Well, that summer, Carrie and I ate more, more lobster than you can shake a stick at every single day off that shipyard. Hey, you got any hens? I mean, I learned that terminology, right? They're little three quarter pound hens. And that stuff was cheaper than macaroni and cheese in a box. So, and Carrie was in, she was pregnant with Timmy and she was in pig heaven because she ate lo lobster almost every day that summer i mean could you imagine that lobster cheaper than macaroni and cheese and that was 1984 and never looked back and never happened again I'm not a big lobster fan. Again, if I eat, if I eat seafood, it's going to be um, either Mrs. Gorton's fish and chips or Mrs. Paul's or whatever that is. Or if I'm at a restaurant, it's going to be a big slab of some kind of fish steak. Tuna, swordfish, halibut. I don't know. What else is there? I do like fish and chips, though, so I eat some fish and chips. Oh, well, there you go. And it counts that right out. But you can eat fish, though, right? Like regular fish. But you can have regular fish, like tuna, halibut, scrod, that cod, and all that kind of stuff, right? So what's in the shells that makes you that allergic? Anybody know? I don't know. Okay, here comes the unveiling for this cool blank. Oh, man. What? Look at what's hiding in the middle of that thing. Oh, I got a scratch right there I got to take care of. But look at that. Yeah, look at these eyeballs looking at you right down here. <laughs> Someone's looking at you, but I got a scratch right there. I can see before I even do anything. Dang. And that's not a sandable scratch. That's a, that's a, Scratch, you got to do this too. Got to itch it right out of there. Right. What did they see? Uh, oh, let's go. See, uh, let me hang on. 
Let, it, let us all, let me finish this up again and we'll look at it and spin it, see if we can find it. Well, I'm sure that was the reason, yeah. I think everybody's waiting for that part. Was it ovaries, fallopian tubes? Okay, just checking. Water jugs. Water jugs. Was it a couple of boobies? Yeah, that was those. I called them eyeballs. That's right. They'll see them forever. Darlene, don't look at this pen. Don't look at this video. She saw it. It was a revelation. <laughs> And you and you say I've got a dirty mind. Well, it's not dirty; it's just anatomy. What you do with it, that may be dirty. Might have been a wishbone, a couple of legs. Who knows? That that depends on the version. That was with Anthony Newley, I believe. Yes, it was. Yeah, see, that's what she saw right there. But I see it now. I called it eyeballs before, but now I see what you're saying, Mia. <laughs> it's a little uneven, or she's standing to the side. I'm not sure which. But look at this, what happened on this side that was hiding in the middle. That's cool. Right, let's get her over to the buffer. <coughs> excuse me. Your excuse. Yep. Hey there. There we go. 
Um, well, I, I, I told them what color that it would be in. It'd just be clear with the different colored dragons in it. So, okay. That would make a sense. I have the scene too, and we have the source of the, the, the dragon. So the oh, no, remember, remember the dragons that you found on uh, I'll send you a picture. Yeah, that was, that was just one dragon that we, we may go with another. We got to find the right ones. We have to source it out after, you know, we get everything paid for. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We will get the, we will get the dragon metallic. I mean, if you want it to match those same colors, then if you know what colors you want, then you can make the dragon. That's what I was saying. Yeah, I, mean, well, I don't know. I, I have no idea what colors because they have on the on the pictures of the metal foundation. They have multiple. They probably like a dozen. So it probably I don't know. It depends on what colors you can get for the dragons, I guess, or for. Uh, it, um. Yeah, because I just basically I wanted to trade a mask. I wanted it to be clear with just the little dragons. Okay. So I can't even start back then. I just thought I thought you wanted just solid colors and I can just make it. Yeah, yeah. Basically. Well, I'll, I'll think about that. I'll think about getting a thing. Um, I mean, I have to source out the dragons, but everyone else has to do, yeah, they have to pay for their part first before I start sourcing the characters. That's true, yeah. It's easier to explain in voice than it is in an email. Then we'll go around. I heard you, so I thought I just kind of talk about it real quick. Um, right. just, so, just so that you know, Tim, you got 22 minutes. Yeah. Okay. So, no, I'm working this evening, starting at 6.30, so I'll be watching her while I'm working and monitoring the team. But, what's that now? Because I don't... Don't forget, sleep. Take it easy too. You know, one of the things I'm really good at, Cassie, and you can ask Carrie about this, is sleep. He he lays down and he's gone. I cannot talk. I work. I work. I work at hard as hard at sleeping as I do at working. I'm dead serious about my sleep. And when I lay down, I am literally in N3 in about 20 seconds. And he says to me, go to sleep. I'm like, I can't. It's impossible I, to do. It's like, I, you gotta have I, to I need a TV. Food. I need a TV and 20 minutes. And I take, you know, I need my CBD gummies to kind of relax my brain and turn it off. And so mm -hmm. it's like, okay. Here we go. I'm ready yep. now. And then it goes off. I mean, I cannot just hit the pill and go. No. He hits the pill, he goes. He well, hits that. Me so long, too. I can't do that either. I wrestle sleep with me. Yeah, I learned that on the submarine many years ago. When you got when you got to go to bed, you had to get to bed. You needed to get to sleep. So I learned how to go to sleep. I praise that one that way either. So I was like, I'm saying, I need to work on this with 24 hour shifts and you get sleep when you can, but even then, it's just, I guess I'm so used to being one eye open. I don't sleep well. When I do a 24 hour shift, I'm up 24 hours. Like I know, I when I got up at 6 30 this morning, I knew that I would not go to bed till tomorrow morning. So I just tell my brain, you're going to bed tomorrow morning. Okay, so we're gonna. What's that? Hopefully. How much coffee do you live on? None. Never had a cup in my life. Holy! Can you pass the oh, that is that is that is over here, please? So it has a lot to do. It has a lot to do with mental state. Okay, we should be on the looking down. Yeah, the, yeah, the bench. Yeah. Yeah. Good. What time did you put that in, Tim? What's that? Uh, that must have been about probably 3.15 or so. 
Gary, you still there? Yeah. Real quick, I just sent you an email that shows the size of those little grants. It would be a lot easier if you chat with me in um, Facebook. Okay. It's easier for typing and chatting and faster because I get those faster than I get the email. Okay, well, I'll go over to the the Facebook. Yep, go to the chat and then. Like oh, Caroline's got some cool stuff. So, what Caroline asked is is how her blanks are going to go. So, this is a seam ripper here, but I don't know what it goes with. This is seam ripper and mini scissors. So, that's going to be two blanks there. So, let's we're going to help Caroline out. She got a bunch of blanks here. She doesn't know how many she has to use up in all of these exciting projects that she's got for me. So, I will grab. A piece of paper here and just real quick before you get too far into that just to let you know it was about two hours and 35 minutes ago yeah so we got to be four hours on that sucker so yep. seam ripper so let me come over here and grab my sharpie i just figured i'd give you a, a little bit better estimated time from the appreciate that thing seam ripper and scissors <coughs> caroline are you still here I don't know if she was still here. She so wasn't she's not in Discord anymore. I don't know if she's in YouTube. A four-piece measuring spoon kit. Up, oh, she's in you home. She is in YouTube. She's there. Who? Cool. These look like four blanks here. So measuring spoon. That's gonna be four blanks there. Oh, there she is. There's a pencil kit. So what I look at here is I measure. The length of the tube. So that tube there is about uh, two and five eight. So it's more than two and a half. So five and a quarter would be that right there. So that will be one blank there. So the anvil EDC is one. So that's a pencil kit. This is a pen kit. There's a Dura Click, Dura Click, Ice Cream Scoop, Anvil EDC. So these two, there's a pen and pencil. So Anvil, that is two blanks. And then we got Dura Click, pencil and pen. And that is another long tube. So that's two blanks there. So we'll put Dura Click on here. And that is two. And then we got an Ice Cream Scoop. That's obviously one. And then we've got the seam ripper. And what's funny uh, is there's an extra seam ripper here. But there's there's two here. There's two here. And there is, there's another one. Oh, right here. Okay, so, but you've got this extra silver one here. But that's this one. Oh, that's the scissors there. Oh, so you want silver scissors, gold seam ripper. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, so those are the scissors there. Silver scissors and gold seam ripper. Yeah. Okay, I got that. I understand. That'll be, let's see how long these are. You might be able to get away with one blank with these two guys. Oh, heck yeah. This is... This this is this is like two and a quarter. So these two together, this would be the seam ripper scissor. Oh, there's another one over here. Seam ripper scissor. That's one blank. So we can get two, or we can use one blank for this too. So your gold and your silver were matched. But there's an extra. Oh, that's the other seam ripper. I'll put that in there. But we won't use that. Cool, cool. Okay, we're good there. Ice cream scoop, that's going to be one. The Dura Click will be two because they are, they are, yeah, they are two and three quarters. Two and three quarters and two and three quarters is five and a half. So that will require one blank there and one blank here. The good thing is we're going to have lots of 
pieces left over that we could probably turn some beads for you. Okay. And that'll be pretty nifty. So this one here, this one here is two and five eighths. That's going to be one. You're not going to get two out of that one. So again, that's two there. The measuring spoon kit is one per. It, yeah, and these guys are long. These guys are long. So that, yeah, those are three and a quarter inches long. <coughs> and that will require four. So, so then what we need to do is figure out which two are going to go. Let's see, this is a seam ripper. These are silver and silver then with these guys. This should be like the other one where you can get one blank. Yeah. So I'm going to change this one here to one. So there's one. So one and one, four. One, one, four. One, one, four. Two, two for your pen kits and four for your. So you need one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you get, you set twelve. So. But to figure out what you want to do and which one goes with which. So, I like the cinnamon as a, a diamond painting pen. Oh, okay. So, that was easy. Let me go get the box then. The yeah. And it smells good, too. Yeah. All right, Tammy. <laughs> See you around. Night, Tammy. Okay, so cinnamon is going to be DP. Yep. So then, what you need to do, Caroline, okay. is figure out. Have a good evening, everybody. We're still here, but whoever's leaving, have a good evening. We'll see you soon. Let's see. There's a purple, purple sparkle there. I don't have a flower girl blank in my hand. This one here. Ice cream scoop. Ice cream. Okay. Then. Because I think you'll be able to have the additional more features on the flower. Oh yeah, because it'll stay fat because it goes in your hand scooping ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And your ice cream scoop being out, that gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have the right amount. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So maybe so these two for one pen set. Now I'll tell you what, I sent you a picture. So now that we've isolated out the cinnamon and the flower girl, why don't you take that picture and decide which you want to do for each one of these here? Yeah, and then you could watch the video back and go through them as well to know how we've got them stacked up. You could probably read this right here. I'll put this up here in case you have to refer to it. Can everybody see that? That's uh, too much light. How's that? Yeah, I can't see anything. How about if I do I know that? This driven. There you go. Mm -hmm. off the writing. What's that? Like trying to back on it. Yeah, you can. There you go. Yeah, wait for it to update. There you go. So you'll be able to freeze frame that in your video, and then you know which ones they are. I sent you a picture, and I can send you another picture 
of what's left. In fact, let's do that right now. While you're doing that real quick, just want to let you know that uh, Connie Griffiths says she received her 800 member pen and her Easter in a pen pen today. They are gloriously gorgeous. I love them both. Thank you for allowing me to own a piece of your artwork. No, thank you for letting me do it. That's exciting. And we did another one for you, Connie. It had your name on it. it Tammy thought it read Tammy, but it actually said Connie. And Joe Atwood's asking, you can order a seam ripper and scissors and measuring spoon. <laughs> oh, hey, Joe, go to either Penn State Industries, P-E-N-N -N, State Industries, or Wood Turnings with a Z dot com. And here's Wood Turnings catalog here. They'll send you a catalog or you can peruse their website. And you can see wood turnings with a Z dot com. Oh, it's right there. Okay, right. And the sky's the limit. They have more kits and stuff you can imagine. Okay. Let me take a picture of this, Caroline. Okay. Let me go to our little group there in the messenger thing. Well, I think it's already made up my mind. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> and you can scribble all over it and say, here's what I want. There you go. Oh, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And you got about seven minutes before Kara. Good. Yeah, we're doing good. All right. So, yeah, there's sky's the limit out there for stuff you can turn and put together into cute little things that are out there to do things with. Those are all Caroline's? No, the ones I just put in on top of Caroline's are the ones she's given me in trade for turning all these goodies ah, and putting them together. I was going to say. Yeah, it's a bunch. <laughs> it is a bunch. Yep, I believe it. Uh. all righty all right everybody let's go see Kara I'm going to shut down the old YouTube and uh, so so I would get what I wanted to send to you and you would turn them yes ma'am or um, or you could tell me what you wanted and I'll order them or you know whatever you want we're, we're pretty easy yeah, your your eyes are going to pop out of your head, Joe, when you see what's in there. There are more stuff. You name it. With something with a handle, they've got it. And Connie, glad you got all your goodies. Love your comment. Appreciate that. We're glad you own a piece of our art as well. And here we go. YouTube, thank you all for Hi, being here. We'll see you soon. Don't forget, Kara's up in uh, five minutes, essentially. Principal Painter. Check her out on YouTube. Yep. Yep.